Now keep in mind that some of the goals that I set versus you as a store owner sets are different. So some of the goals are totally out of my control. I think that if you use Clicktail to set your own goals, that I'm going to tell you in a second what they are, I think you'll be very successful with converting your visitors to customers on your website. What are some of the goals? Let's take a look at the Clicktail analytics. For example, I'm going to go to Accord Mania and I'm gonna click on yesterday's visitors and I'm gonna say that let me see which visitors are actually going to the product pages and from where and notice that I have a lot of visitors coming from a form the same form as you can see and they're engaging in the website it's ha it tells me how many pages they went through and how long they stayed in the website and they're all going to the same page over and over again and what this page is, it's a Honda Accord air suspension system. If I know that today and yesterday and basically this whole week I'm getting these visitors visiting my case sport suspension product, this specific one, I probably want to stop whatever I'm doing and do my best to convert the visitors that are coming through to this page. This includes getting more pictures, getting better content, lowering the price, making sure you have the best price on there, and so on. So basically you can use Clicktail to identify which pages are trending on your website, which pages your visitors are constantly going into, and optimize those to try to make a sale. Another thing you can check on Clicktail is to see just the user behavior on your website. So when I was browsing a few of the users' websites, what, one of the things that I noticed is that their product selection was just not what the customer was looking for. So the customer would come in, they would browse through the products, and they just simply wouldn't find what they're looking for, and they would exit it, which means that they had a lot of products, but not good enough selection for their specific traffic that comes into their website. So one of the things you might want to use Clicktail for is actually analyzing user behavior. For example, if you were a owner of a Honda Accord and you would visit your own website, which is Accord Mania in this case, how would you behave? And then compare your behavior to how your customers are behaving. And if they're behaving differently, figure out why they're behaving differently. The third thing that you can use Clicktail for, which Google Analytics technically gives you, but it doesn't give you enough details, is where your customers are coming from. Are they staying? In other words, is it worth continuing your marketing for certain keywords based on what the customers are doing on your website. For example, one of the things that I noticed on this Accord website is everybody who comes in looking for Accord parts or Accord aftermarket or something that's a general word never buys anything. So they're showing you traffic in your analytics so you're saying, wow, I'm getting traffic, why is there no sales? Well, these customers are probably not looking to buy something right now or they're not finding what they're looking for. I mean, there could be all kinds of reasons, but the bottom line is that this particular keyword isn't converting for you, so why bother continuing to market for it? Versus if you find a product that is converting for you, you might want to put more marketing. It could be uh, pay-per-click, it could be organic marketing, uh, could be marketing in the forms, promotions, etc. So if you find a product that sells and your customers are buying it, you might want to find more customers that will buy that specific product. So the main difference between Google Analytics and Clicktail in this aspect is that you can actually see where the user came from and then instead of just seeing that this is their engagement time and this is where they went through and this is when they left, you can actually see what they did and once you establish a trend that I'm getting about 15 people per day for this particular keyword and nothing happens after that, then you might want to consider not concentrating on that user base and concentrate on the user base that will help you make sales. And the last feature that Clicktail offers is uh, heat maps, which is pretty cool considering that it really gives you the understanding of how important it is to have a good looking website and good graphic design. So what the heat maps do is it tells you 
exactly what the customers are clicking on and it shows it to you in a colorful map basically it shows you what they clicked on and it shows you your important assets of your website so if you know that customers are always going to that particular area you might want to consider enhancing the graphics there making it more obvious and if you notice that customers are not going where you want them to go you can also concentrate on enhancing that area of your website so in this case we see that everybody that visited in the past week clicked on products it's a very hot area they searched for their vehicle which is a good thing this is what we want them to do uh, nobody really searched for uh, brands if you can see there's no clicks here some people search for products vehicles some people clicked on categories on the right hand side some people clicked on the product pages so this is exactly what we wanted the home page to do for our visitors and this is what it does today now Keep in mind that the beauty of being a shopping cart elite client, that the behavior on the template level is researched by us and we keep enhancing it for all of our clients. So even though you can analyze these aspects and maybe if you find something that we miss, you can advise us on, you don't have to worry about coding, you don't have to worry about figuring out who to pay and how the developer is gonna do this and do that and so on. So anything that has to do with development and coding Shopping Cordelie does for you. The only thing you would be doing with Clicktail is trying to find trends that your customers are doing on your website. And if you don't approve of their behavior, you can consider changing your website. It could be graphics, it could be products, it could be product images, so something in your control to enhance your visitor experience and to let them behave the way you'd like them behave on each page of your website. So definitely consider signing up with Clicktail and integrating it into Shopping Cart Elite. You can try it out. They have a free version, so you can try it out for free. Definitely monitor the daily traffic through Clicktail and try to understand what your users are going through on your website. And if you see that there are certain trends when somebody posted a form post about your company, or about a product that you sell or you see a trend that Google is sending you certain visitors to certain pages then you definitely want to enhance those pages and this is exactly what you would use Clicktail for on a daily basis if you're signing up for Clicktail visit shoppingcartelite.com on the very top there is a link called partners and if you scroll down here you can click on Clicktail here and the reason why you would want to sign up through Shopping Elite is because you actually get discounted prices so if you end up signing up for a month or so you'll be paying about 20 percent less than if you would sign up through clicktail directly